Hello at Bags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome to a PUBG update, the first update for Xbox One. What's it going to include? How many things is it going to add, fix and change? Not a damn lot. Let's take a look at the patch notes. You can see here the update for it is around 4.7 GB and it's a pretty small update really um, and hopefully it will give you some stuff but I don't know, the patch notes seem to be a little bit light. So gas can now be used on a bike or a bike with a sidecar. Apparently the bikes were running out of gas. Equipment icons and HUD will now be visible. Player icon is now clearly visible on the world map. UI prompts now appear when reload and enter a vehicle options are present. They've tweaked the hair color options. The animations, they've cleaned up sidecar passenger animations in first person view. Fixed player camera issues while passenger on the back seat of a buggy. Addressed arm animations specific to holding some weapons. And characters now correctly face the proper direction when stopped while swimming. Others, now it just says the first pass visual and performance improvements, slightly improved anti-aliasing on Xbox One and Xbox One S, localization updates for Vietnamese, Spanish, controls and motorcycle no longer inverted and keyboard functionality is disabled, so apparently you could have used your keyboard after all. In terms of bug fixes, fixed instances of player name tags not displaying properly in the lobby during squad and duo play, fixed minor animation while crouching and prone, fixed issues where curtains on windows block line of sight players in the TPP mode, fixed an issue where squad leaders left the party chat ceased to function as intended, fixed issue where players could lean out of vehicles when obstructed, collision of cardboard boxes in Yasna City and typo in the controller guide, other minor fixes. I've got to say, I'm a little bit disappointed. I know the game's only been out like seven days, six days. Considering how much the PC iterated in its first days of, you know, actually being around, I was hoping for more. I didn't expect the desert map to be added. I knew that's not going to be coming until the new year. If you don't know that, the Miramar map will not be on the Xbox One version until early 2017, 18, sorry. But I definitely would have liked to have seen a bit more information about these overall performance uh, improvements and the anti-aliasing. PUBG has been getting a bashing from people, particularly reviewers who are intent on reviewing it as a full product on Xbox, even though it is technically still an early access game. Now I've had lots of you guys tweet me, message me, send me clips of the absolute potato-ness that's going on on the Xbox One and the Xbox One S. I've got to say, on the Xbox X, it's not that bad. The one noticeable difference I have noticed, and my little boy has noticed, he's been playing it a lot, he's been giving me all the info, is the lag is absolutely unreal. Every single match he played, he had problems with lag, and it didn't stop him nearly winning matches or getting lots of kills or doing well, but there were significant parts of it where he felt like it was really ruining the experience. So what is your experience of playing PUBG? Are you getting lots of lag? Is it something you're just not that bothered about? Does it subside? Does it go after a while? And what do you think about the potato-ness of the graphics on Xbox One and Xbox One S? It does feel like the game really just shouldn't be able to run on them consoles yet. If they can make Ark run on an Xbox, they can bloody well make sure PUBG runs in it properly, and I'm sure they will, but that's the kind of improvements I want to see more of, really detailed stuff saying they've fixed this, they've done this, they've done that. And by the way, I'm saying this because there isn't no small development team anymore, they've set up their own brand new company, they outsource the actual port of player unknown backgrounds to someone else so they should be able to do a lot more in short time rather than just saying oh well you know they've got to do this it's going to take a while the game has made millions it's a billion dollar property now so not buying it that they can't afford to make sure they get extra manpower or they really knuckle down and get more done for the xbox one version i mean bearing in mind look at the, what the graphics are like on xbox x it's still a potato does that bother you me when it's in early access? No, not necessarily. I'm not that fussed about graphics. But definitely I want the gameplay to be okay. And I want the animations to be okay. Because otherwise they really can take you out of the game if they're not. And it's that bit of lag you see there. It's literally every single match I've played. And I've got a fairly decent you know, internet connection. So don't be going around blaming it on people's connection if they're telling you they've got lag. I honestly think after reading some of the forums, there is some real problems and issues with the game. They've just not managed to correct. And considering it's just come out on PC as well, that's even more reason we shouldn't necessarily be facing some of these issues. Definitely with some of the latest content, you expect it might not be there, it might be delayed, like the mirror mod map or you know some other fit key features. But I don't think it's that much to ask to have the game actually run well. 
Now, despite me not getting as much gameplay out of it as I wanted to, I am enjoying the actual core gameplay, but something has kind of died inside a little bit. I don't know if I was as hyped as I was once it actually hit Xbox. It was just a bit off-putting some of the actual things to do with the actual aiming system. It doesn't feel like the aiming system is built for console. And people are going to go, oh, it shouldn't be built for console, it's a PC game. F you. It's ported to a console for a reason. It wants to make money on consoles. It wants console players to play it. So I think it needs to have an aim system that's tailored to that. So that may still come, though. It is still only early access. We have got a, probably a bit longer than I thought maybe before it gets to the stage where it's completed as 1.0. I guess the expectation is there that it's been out on PC for so long that we would get more of a finished product or close to something like the PC has. But I guess truth be told, the Xboxes currently just can't even keep up. I mean, on PC, PUBG is a unoptimized problem. It still needs a big, decent rig to run it really super well. You can play it on lower graphics uh, cards or lower graphics systems, but it really does need a beefy system if you want, you know, ultra FPS, ultra graphics, etc. Normally, when a game is ported to console, it actually benefits the PC because the PC will get lots of improvements, performance improvements, because they have to do so much to get it onto a console. They then transfer the improvements to PC because it's still going to make the PC run better. So anyway, that's what I think. I want them to hopefully get better grips with it and start adding a little bit more so that lag isn't an issue and that aiming is a bit better on the actual console versions. Excuse this though, this is nothing to do with the game, this is just my potato aim trying to shoot at someone with an AK across 4 miles or so. I am just absolutely shit. So if you was looking for a big massive update for PUBG this week, think again, there probably won't be another update now until the new year. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping by that point they may have actually finished off working on the Miramar map, but I doubt it. I am starting to think we're not going to see a map uh, addition to the actual Xbox game for a good couple of months, maybe not until February at least. Um, just because of the work that seems need doing on this map to get optimization a bit better and to increase the you know the frame rates and keep the lag going. I'm playing it on the Xbox X by the way, and you can see it's it's still a bit juddery, it just doesn't feel as robust as I would like it. Whatever the reason is, whether it's PUBG it needs a better system, whether or not it's the Xbox that just can't cope with it, if you're gonna release a product even in early access then it still needs to be able to play on that system. None of this that, oh well, it's early access, it can do what it wants. No, the game has had significant investment. The game's got lots of money behind it. I demand more, you should demand more from your games. Just because it says early access doesn't mean that we shouldn't accept or get something a bit more what other people are having. And on PC, people are getting lots and lots of good graphics from it now. Now they've started to optimise it. It's still not perfect, there are still lots of complaints from people, but I want to see more alongside that. I want to see update patch notes that say what they've improved exactly on the Xbox version, not just other improvements. That feels like a bit of a cop-out and a bit wishy-washy. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? How does it run for you? Is it stopping your enjoyment in the game? So far, everyone's been telling me they're loving it still. They don't really care. They're just enjoying the gameplay and they're getting loads of kills, loads of chicken winner dinners. Um, and my little boy is enjoying it. Like I said, it's only the lag that detracts from it. As ever, I'll be the first person to let you know when PUBG's got an update on Xbox and what's coming up with the PC updates as I'll get run over. I'm Jay Plays Games. Make sure you've got notifications turned on, you're subscribed, and I'll see you ratbags later.